Greetings everyone. Today we have before us the announcement of one of the most wonderful event that has happened in the world, the birth of Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Luke says, In the sixth month, angel Gabriel visited Mary, who was engaged to Joseph. Now here we see God putting into action two of his promises. The sixth month indicating that Mary's cousin Elizabeth was six months pregnant and thus the Lord fulfilled his message that was delivered by angel Gabriel that Elizabeth is to bear a son who will prepare the way of the Lord. Secondly, we see God has revealed many times in the Old Testament that the Messiah will be born in King David's lineage. For example, in Jeremiah 23 verse 5, the Lord says, I will raise a righteous branch for David. And here we see God has chosen Mary, who is engaged to Joseph, and Joseph is from the house of David. So throughout and always, we have always seen that God keeps his promises. Our God is someone we can trust. Coming back to the part where God chose Mary. Why her? Like Mary is no queen or a princess. In fact, Mary is just a small town girl from Nazareth. And Nazareth was considered unclean by most Jews at that point of time in history. Then why her? She was no one important. Yet, God chose her for the simplicity of our heart. She was humble, obedient, and someone who always kept God's words. God does not choose people for material richness, rather the purity of their hearts. When Angel Gabriel visited Mary, he had said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. Now, how many times in our lives we had to face difficult situations or we have felt lonely and our parents and our friends, siblings, they have come to our rescue. Complete strangers have helped us out sometimes. But did you ever remember that God is doing all this through them? Every day, every step you take, every second, the God is with us. So this Advent, let us remember to place our trust in God, that He is with us every day, all the time, and will always hold our hand every time we fall. We pray for joy in our hearts, hope in our Lord, love to forgive, and peace upon the earth. We ask for the salvation of all our family members and friends. We pray your blessings on all people of this world. O child Jesus, fill our hearts with your love and peace. Amen.